To get started with the Cmatic AX, you need to get access to the Cmatic AX console. A Siemens sales professional can help you out to get access to this console. As you may see on the screen, the console consists of several parts, but two main parts are downloads and documentation. For sure to download the IDE, which is the X code, you need to go to the download section. Once you are at the download page, you can click on this button to download the X code for Windows. This is a simple executable file that you can install similar to the Visual Studio code. Before installing the Xcode for Microsoft Windows, you need to make sure the prerequisites are installed as well. You can find a list of prerequisites under the documentation. The basic requirements or prerequisites to install the Xcode are .NET Runtime and a few other pieces of software that you can find a list of them under the documentation as I mentioned. Once the Xcode is installed, you can open the software from the Start menu. And as you may notice, this is the traditional Visual Studio Code or VS Code. But Siemens has modified this IDE to be at the center of the Cmatic AX platform. So on the top, you have the traditional file menu, edits, and so on. And on the left side, on top of the VS Code standard icons, you may find different new icons such as this Apex or PLC Explorer and so on. Similar to VS Code, you have this extension manager where you can find different extension and install on your Cmatic AX code. And of course, you have the source code manager that lets you manage your source code and project files. We will come back to this page after opening the example. In this demo, we are going to use the Cmatic AX to create a function block for TI portal. And the good news is you don't need to start from scratch because Cmatic AX offers different templates which creates a template project for you for different application. So let's create our first TI portal function block in Cmatic AX. I've already created this project based on a template. You can interact with Cmatic AX through the terminal or graphical user interface. At the center of Cmatic AX is Apex. This is not a complete tutorial, so I'm going to skip the first steps such as logging to your account or installing the prerequisites. So I'm going to directly jump into the code and show you how it works and what's the workflow. So as you can see under this new project that I created, which is demo2, I have different files and folders. The most important files are under the SRC or source and they are library.st and wrapper.st. As you may guess from the file's extensions, these are a structured text or ST programming language which is known for programming different PLCs under the IEC standard. So you may ask why we have two different files. The first file, which is the library.st, is a code that can be programmed in object-oriented way with classes, methods, and so on. But because TI Portal doesn't natively support object-oriented programming, we need to create a procedural function block, also called as a wrapper function block, to expose different inputs and outputs to TI Portal. In this example, I'm going to create a motor function block, which has two different inputs, which are a start and a stop, and it has one output which is the get a status or I could name it as motor or anything else. I use the motor as my class name and different inputs and outputs are my methods. And once I finish defining my class, I can go to my wrapper file and implement my logic and implement my logic based on my desired algorithm. On top of these two files under the source, we have a project manifest file which is called apex.yaml. As mentioned before, this is not a complete tutorial, but just to let you know, your project manifest file defines which packages and versions are needed for this project. And this is where we define different parameters and factors, such as what targets we are going to compile or code for. Cmatic AX also offers unit testing and it includes test frameworks which you may already be familiar with in the IT world. In this example, we have this test fixture pragma 
that tells the test framework that this class contains a method that can be run as a test. And the method is annotated with the test pragma. So now let's compile our code and generate the library for the TI portal. So to compile our code, I'm just going to type in apex build. The output of apex build is a binary file for target devices that we have specified under the manifest file. Now we just need to enter two more commands to generate the function block for the TIA portal. The first one is apex export TIA lib. And finally, we need to import it as a TIA portal library. Depend on the size of your project, this process might take a while. Okay, now our function block is ready and it can be imported to TIA portal as a global library. So let's jump into the TIA portal. And I have one TA portal ready and we can go under the libraries and global libraries and we click on the open global libraries and we can select the library that we just generated in Cimatic X code and we hit open. You may see different files and folders under this library but what is important for you is under the type and this is the motor wrapper that we just created in Cimatic AX. You may notice in our library, we have our class and our methods defined at different functions and function block as well, but you don't really need to work with them. And all you need is the motor wrapper function block. So I'm going to drag and drop this function block in my program. And similar to any other function block, we need to create a data block for it. And voila, we have our function block in TI portal, which can be used besides any other standard function block to implement our final PLC program. Just a note, you may notice this lock icon next to the function block. That means this function block is know-how protected. And that means the TI portal doesn't have access to the code which was written in Cimatic AX. That's the idea behind Cimatic AX, to separate the OT and IT professionals. The IT professional work with the Cimatic AX to generate different function blocks, or in near future, they can also directly download from Cimatic AX to the PLC. And on the other hand, the OT professional will keep using and programming PLCs with the method that they are used to, and they will just interface with Cimatic AX or IT team using global libraries. So now as a demonstration, let's just apply some changes in our Cimatic AX source code to see how the workflow works. For example, let's just change the name of get status to something like this, motor command. And of course, we need to change the reference in wrapper SD as well. Save it. And before proceeding to compile and generating the library, we need to change the library version. You may notice here, our library right now is at version 002. So let's just increase it to 005, for example. Just save it. And now we can repeat the process that we did before. Apex build, Apex export, and finally, Apex import. So now that we have applied some changes to our source code, you may see this number on top of the source control extension. So if you go there, you have a list of what has been changed or modified or has been deleted. And overall, this is a standard source code control, which you may already be familiar with. Because my Cimatic AX code is connected to my GitHub account, I can enter different git commands such as commit, pull, push, and so on. So now I'm just going to commit and push my changes to my GitHub account. Now we can enter the commit description and we apply the changes. Now if we go back to our GitHub account and if we check our repository, which is demo2, which we can see some changes have come in and we can check what's the differences. So if we just click on the history and we can see our comments and so on. So if you wanna see more details, we can click on that and the changes are highlighted in different colors. 
For example, we change the version from 002 to 005. And of course, we change the method name and we apply the changes in the wrapper SD as well. So this is how you can use Git and version control in Cimatic AX code. And of course, I'm not an IT expert and you may already know more than me about Git and version controlling. So this was a quick demonstration to show you how it works. And as you may already notice, this is a very flexible platform and it lets you program your PLCs and generate different function block using the common methods that you have used before in the IT environment. But it's important to mention that TI Portal also has an add-on which is called VCI or Version Control Interface that lets you integrate TI Portal to Git and GitHub. So if you need to monitor your changes on the PLC side, you may find that add-on useful as well. I hope you find this video useful. Of course, the sales team can provide you more information by connecting you with the Cimatic AX experts. And Siemens engineers are here to help you out get started with Cimatic AX.